Hello YouTube. This is my uh, first ever production or contribution to the YouTube realm. This is a antique cast iron skeleton that I picked up the other day at an antique store in Indiana. It's about a 10 inch skillet and uh, it's old, it's crusty. It's got some incredibly thick seasoning here that you can like pick off with your fingernail. It's pretty astonishing how thick that got. And as you can see it's smooth or at one point in time it originally was smooth cast or sanded rather at the factory as evidence there where the seasoning is worn off or rusted off or what have you. There's no seasoning there that's bare iron uh, slash rust or patina. Looking at the back side Got, I don't know, it looks like pretty heavy rust, or maybe that's just crud. I, I'm not sure at this point. Kind of looks like crud buildup over the years on there. Uh, one of the points that suggests that it is a lodge is the raised ring here, and the fact that there are three notches. There's one there that's full of crud. There's one here at the top, opposite to the handle, and then there's one over here at what would be the 3 o'clock position. So the fact of the matter is, is I only paid $12 for this thing. It's not a highly valued cast iron skillet like a Spider or Griswold for $8,000 or something ridiculous like that. So I'm going to take a 7 inch pneumatic angle grinder. This guy right here with a 4 inch cup wire wheel. And I'm going to tear off all of that seasoning, rust, etc. from both the inside and the outside of this thing. And then I've got a series of sanding pads. I've got uh, 80 grit, 120 grit, 220 grit, uh, 320 grit, and then 400 grit sandpaper that I'm going to use to bring this up to a, a fine finish, a very nice smooth finish. And at that point it's going to be bare cast iron and therefore very, very prone to rust. And so it needs to be seasoned, as we all know, cast iron needs to be. And that procedure will involve some uh, flaxseed oil or grapeseed oil and really high temperatures on the stovetop. So I've done this once before with a smaller lodge cast iron skillet that I purchased brand new from Walmart in 2013. I got tired of how non-stick it wasn't, um, so stuff really stuck to it pretty badly, even though, you know, it's advertised as being non-stick, having this pre-seasoned, etc. Um, but yeah, lodge skillets were, or used to be in this era, clearly smooth sanded, and around the 60s or 70s, from what I've read, they went to uh, cut labor costs, and they stopped sanding them smooth, and they left them in a rough cast bead blasted finish with the claim that it uh, adheres to the or the seasoning adheres to the iron more effectively that way uh, I don't really buy it not only from my own experience having taken a brand new lodge skillet and sanded it smooth myself and now my results are far far better than it originally was um, but also there's very high-end manufacturers of cast iron skillets you're paying $200 and up for a skillet, and they're smooth sanded as well. Um, so the appearance of a cast iron skillet when you've seasoned it in this way and sanded it all the way down to bat, uh, bare cast iron, it's like a, a copper finish. It's actually quite beautiful, and it'll stay that way for a while until you build up a legitimate layer of seasoning from cooking steak and onions and beef and chicken, etc., etc., on there. And eventually it'll go black but I'm gonna get to work on this thing and stop chatting and the plan is to uh, get this all the way down to bare cast iron sand it smooth and then go from there alrighty let's get working <laughs> 